Rossini, Bellini, Mozart, and Verdi lived together in Brazil in the 20th century. Of course, we are probably not talking about the same people here. I'm talking about the family of Miguel Guarnieri, an amateur musician in Brazil, with such a passion for opera that he ended naming his four songs, Rossini, Bellini, Mozart, and Verdi. The little Mozart Guarnieri grew up to be a talented composer, and he was rather uncomfortable with his name, so he ended adopting his mother's maiden name, Camargo. And as such, he signed his scores, Camargo Guarnieri, and occasionally M. Camargo Guarnieri. He became one of the most famous Brazilian composers of the 20th century. His concerto for strings and percussion shows a rather sophisticated understanding of structure with a lot of counterpoint and preference for canonic imitations. It is, it is in essence, a concerto grosso with the opposition between a small group of soloists and the rest of the ensemble. The language is truly Brazilian with pizzicatos that recall the sound of the cavaquinho, the Brazilian guitar, and of course the percussion imitating Brazilian drums. And it has the, the rhythmic vitality of Brazilian dances and the lyricism of its songs. The three movements are entitled in Portuguese, Vigoroso, Saudoso, and Jocoso. Vigoroso, with vigor, starts with a muscular gesture from the timpani and continues with great energy throughout the movement until a sustained note from the viola connects us to saudoso, the second movement. Saudoso means homesick and is a gorgeous song dedicated to the memory of his mother. The last movement, jocoso, playful, goes by in perpetual motion. And that motion is only interrupted by the percussion section that starts improvising a cadenza. And uh, then a short violin solo sets up things in motion again, taking us to a very spirited conclusion. So this is Mozart, Camargo Guarnieri's Concerto for Strings and Percussion.